In today's video, we're going to check out the top five best laptops in the market for this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I'm trying to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and more. To see the price and find out more information about these laptops, you can check out the description below. Also, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest technology reviews. Okay, so let's get started with the video. At number five, it's the Alienware M15. We're going to start our best laptops list with a gaming laptop. Alienware is a recognized brand when it comes to gaming computers and laptops. The Alienware M15 is one of their many laptops that can give every gamer what they want. Recently, the Alienware Area 51 M was released, and it's considered to be the best gaming laptop on the market. But I decided not to include it because it's pretty expensive. The M15 is Alienware's most portable 15-inch gaming laptop design yet. Dell decided to use metal for the lid, a soft-touch matte plastic coating around the keyboard, and glossy plastic around the display. But the key here is just how seamless these materials join together. It just feels really solid and well-built. When it comes to the design, the M15 builds on the older 15 model and keeps most aesthetic lines and accents, like the alien heads on the lid and on the power button or the branding beneath the screen. It's strong and doesn't creak when grabbed and thrown in a backpack. The hinges do a good job at keeping the screen as set up and allow it to lean back to almost 170 degrees, and the rubber feet on the bottom are fairly grippy. The ports are conveniently placed around the sides and on the back, placing cables out of the way. This laptop comes with two screen options, 1080p 144Hz or 4K. The 1080p 144Hz 15.6-inch screen is ideal if you're interested in high frame rates, but there are also 1080p and 4K options at 60Hz. The 4K screen is the better choice if you're concerned about color accuracy, though, since it covers 100% of the sRGB gamut compared to just 72% on the 1080p monitor. With a high refresh rate display, the M15 can easily handle frame rates up to 144fps smoothly, meaning your games would run smoothly. This is important, especially if you're planning to buy this laptop for FPS games such as Counter-Strike. Thanks to Dell's display expertise, it's a great notebook for watching videos too, though it's not as comfortable as true ultra-portables when you're lounging on the couch. Overall, I would say that it's a great laptop for gaming. At number 4, it's the Huawei Kepler MateBook D. Huawei came into the market in recent years and has taken everything by storm. They released a range of high-quality products such as phones, laptops, tablets, smartwatches, and more. They've gained a lot of reputation because of their affordable prices and high-quality products. The MateBook D is one of them. The Huawei MateBook D is a 13-inch laptop that sports a 14-inch display and weighs in at 3.5 pounds. The overall dimensions are just 12.72 by 8.7 by 0.62 inches, making it easy to get from place to place without much of a fuss. It's not the thinnest or lightest thing on the market. Maybe it's because Huawei didn't opt for the wedge-shaped design that so many other PCs are using. It just feels solid all round, and there's something about that that's just comforting. When it comes to connectivity, the MateBook D is somewhat limited, however, even for a laptop in this price range. On the right side of the keyboard, you have a USB port, an HDMI port, and a USB-C port. On the left side, there's simply one more USB port and a 3.5mm stereo jack. When it comes to the keyboard, I'd like to say that it's great to type on. If you've used a MacBook before, then you're probably familiar with this keyboard. The layout is extremely comfortable, and the keys are very responsive. The same goes for the trackpad too. Every movement of your finger will be tracked to perfection, and the left and right side of the tracking pad are easily distinguished, even without physically separate left and right buttons. The MateBook D's long battery life is one of its key selling points. It's rated to last up to 12 hours on a charge of non-stop video playback. In real-life testing, after continuously surfing the web, the notebook lasted for around 9 hours and 15 minutes, which is nearly 2 hours longer than the mainstream laptop average. One thing that was surprising to me was that I could play some mid-demanding games smoothly on this laptop. This laptop is not supposed to be a gaming laptop, but if the shoe fits, wear it. Overall, I would say it's one of the best laptops for business owners and people that travel a lot, because it has everything you might ask for in a 13-inch chassis. At number 3, it's the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon. 
If you're a businessman, then don't look any further, because you can't get a better laptop than the Lenovo ThinkPad X1. It packs plenty of performance and battery life into a slim carbon fiber chassis. Made from a combination of carbon fiber and magnesium, the X1 Carbon is not only light, but also extremely durable. According to Lenovo, the laptop has passed a dozen durability tests, including those for extreme temperatures, shocks, and vibrations. One thing I liked a lot about the X1 Carbon is that it comes standard with a matching sensor fingerprint reader, which performs all of its storage and analysis on the same chip in order to avoid hackers. This laptop is available with two different screen options, the 2560 by 1440 HDR or high dynamic range, and it's a non-touch screen. Also the standard 1920 by 1080 touch panel that comes on the base model. Both 14-inch panels are impressive, but the HDR display is one of the most vibrant ones we've seen in the market. It features a world-class keyboard which has a deep 1.8mm travel and a strong 2 grams of required actuation force. They offer excellent tactile feedback. It also has a soft-touch deck which makes your wrists feel really good while typing. All I can say for the keyboard is that it's extremely comfortable and that's what we expect from a Lenovo business laptop. When it comes to connectivity, the ThinkPad X1 Carbon has a great port selection, including two USB Type-A ports, a full-size HDMI connector, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and a micro SD card slot. Another thing worth mentioning about this laptop is its battery life. When we tested it, it lasted for around 11 hours. If we compare it to other laptops in this category, I can say that it performed above average. The X1 Carbon also supports fast charging, and Lenovo claims that the machine can go from 0 to 80% in just 60 minutes with its AC adapter. Overall, I'd like to say that the ThinkPad X1 Carbon remains the ultimate business ultrabook, thanks to its gorgeous design, awesome typing experience, long battery life, and epic screen. If you're a businessman, you should look no further and grab yourself a Lenovo X1 Carbon. And at number two, it's the Microsoft Surface Pro 6. Surface Pro 6 is the latest Microsoft model that has reshaped the market since it offers a great value for its price tag and its performance is truly magnificent. From a design perspective, the Surface Pro shines with elegance due to the fact that the body was crafted with a magnesium alloy frame with rounded edges that make it incredibly portable and lightweight at the same time. That's why you can use it in three modes, starting from the laptop mode, studio mode, and a tablet mode if you remove or fold the Pro Signature Type cover. So it'll function as a standalone Intel tablet. When it comes to the keyboard, this link contains only the device itself, so you have an opportunity to grab a black, cobalt blue, and platinum colored one, depending on what you prefer. However, all three of them are unique and perform incredibly well. Regardless if you're typing on the keyboard or swiping on the touchpad, all of your clicks and swipes will be effectively registered, so I think you'll love this. In addition, the 12.3-inch PixelSense touchscreen looks beautiful with a maximum resolution of 2336 by 1824 in terms of pixels, so regardless of the mode in which you use this unit, you'll never be disappointed. Additionally, there's a decent load of connectivity ports as well, so you can find a single USB 3.0 port, a mini display port, one micro SDXC card reader, and a headphone and mic combo jack. Now let's talk about features. The Surface Pro comes in different hardware specs, but I've chosen the one that integrates 8GB of RAM, 128GB SSD, and an 8th generation Intel Core i5 processor, which is more than enough for students, graphic designers, and office workers who require a portable tool to take their work anywhere. Moreover, the battery life is rated to up to 13 and a half hours of usage, according to the manufacturer, but this may vary. Either way, even 10 hours of usage in practice would be great. To conclude, I strongly recommend you consider the Surface Pro 6 as your next purchase since it packs quality and performance above all that'll suit you well in multitasking, heavy duty, and casual work. And at number one, it's the Dell XPS 13. To start, I'd like to say that the Dell XPS 13 is one of the best looking laptops out there. It's good for businessmen, for travelers, and for graphic designers. The old XPS 13 had a lot of small problems which prevented it from being considered as one of the best laptops in the world. However, this has definitely changed with the 2019 model. The display of this laptop is vibrant and rich in both the Full HD and 4K touchscreen options. The best part is that the bezels around the display are almost non-existent. 
The 4K panel is plenty sharp, but it's still a little excessive for a 13.3-inch viewing area. Dell promises up to 12 hours of use from the 4K version of the XPS 13 and up to 21 hours for the full HD version. We all know that the battery life the manufacturer says is never really correct, uh, so we decided to test it ourselves. Even though it didn't last for 12 hours and 21 hours respectively, it still managed to be pretty close. The full HD version will last for a whole day of working and the 4K a bit less. So that makes this laptop among those that have the longest battery life in the market. Before I tested the new Dell XPS 13, the LG Gram was my favourite laptop when it came to battery life, but now I guess I have a new favourite. When it comes to connectivity, this laptop sports two Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C ports, one USB-C 3.1 port, a micro SD card slot and a 3.5mm headphone jack. This is one step ahead of many competing laptops, with many using solely USB-C 3.1 and not the superior Thunderbolt 3 standard. The system's biggest knock has long been its webcam. Because of the very thin screen border, the webcam had been relegated to a spot below the screen rather than above it. That led to an unflattering up-the-nose angle that made the XPS 13 less useful for Skype calls, YouTube videos or any other video recording or streaming needs. The new webcam somehow fits into that very slim top border, thanks to a new lens design that's only 2.5mm high. Overall, I'd say that it's the best-looking laptop that can do almost everything for you. The subtle design tweaks are most welcome, and it packs the performance capabilities that suitably justify the high asking price. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.